And uh, the rotational. Hello? Please, come in. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we have the rotational constant here. And um, this is the grand canonical ensemble. You might remember this from... Uh, okay. Um, all right. Like I said, we have the rotational constant. And uh, that really comes into play when we're looking at these transitions. We have the forbidden transitions. All right. Um, you know, if you uh, get here on time, you might remember that this is the rotational constant. So, as I was saying, uh, you may remember this from uh, on your mother's knee, um, or perhaps you learned it in undergrad at some point. So if we're examining the cooling rate of a cloud, which has some rotational velocity, um, then it's actually, the cooling is going to happen mostly in the H and K forbidden lines, um, this radiative cooling. And uh, turn the sound off. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, uh, wait, 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 where wait am question I? before um, we go on. You wrote the momentum is K times C, but the units of that are um, hertz. Uh, so we're shouldn't that be at, P times H K? We're looking at the um, minus one half P no, squared. No, 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 H like. Oh, the uh, uh, rotational constant. No, like like Planck's constant, H. What am I Just doing here? Just erase the C and write an H bar. Well, um, it's correct in the notes. Uh, I think uh, page one hundred and twenty. Um, so, you know, I might have made a mistake here. But Where we have up to page 90? Uh, well, there's a, there's a new packet, and if you were in class on time, then you would have gotten that. Okay. Uh, here, this approximation was, uh, this is called the Bapu approximation, named after the Indian physicist. Uh, Piyush, do you know Bapu? Wait, what? I'm not even in that class. Okay, uh, as I was saying, if we want to know the probability of this transition, um, really that probability factor is determined by omega, um, and this is this is something uh, that the Greeks may, may may know this. Yes, uh, Mike, uh, I'm not really sure like what omega stands for. 
Well, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, the Greek alphabet is something I'm sure you learned. Um, it's the, uh, you know, omega. Um, yes, perhaps? but Mike, this is omega. Yes, uh, okay, what, what I think you're asking is um, why is this positive instead of uh, the minus one half omega that we've been dealing with? Um, and that's actually, this minus one half uh, goes away when, we're, when we look at the um, spatial reversal symmetry of this system. Um, did that answer your question? Wait, is this even what I asked? I don't think that's the answer to the question. Wonderful day outside, and because it's such a wonderful day, I have some freshly made presents for you. Uh, Nora? Uh, it's Nora. My apologies. Nora. <laughs> Elizabeth? Who's Elizabeth? I think he means Emily. I was in New Mexico, launching a rocket. New Mexico's great. It has rockets, and white sands, and green chili, and deserts, but mostly rockets. Rachel? Um, apologies, Rachel. Here's your homework. I was always told that graduate school was going to change me. I just... I didn't know that it would be my name. So, um, to get your juices flowing, I've prepared some presents for you. Yay. Yay. Um, if yeah. you, if you don't mind. Wait, those aren't muffins. <laughs> the average sheet of paper produces five liters of waste. According to my calculations, that's 3,000 liters per student per semester. There are 15 of us, including extras. So here, you can see some, some fine granulation and some, some wiggles and, and jiggles. And as you can see, they propagate through the atmosphere. These are called the, the Alpine wiggles. And um, the sun, you can say, is throbbing. And you might, you might ask yourself, do, do I care about this? Not particularly. Uh, question. What does this have to do with Green's function? Oh. My apologies. I don't know how she's still asking questions. I haven't been paying attention since the second week. You see, uh, the Green's functions are really just a lot of wiggles compressed, you know, compressed with each other. Uh, yeah, you, can, you can sort of squeeze the wiggles, and uh, so now we have three wiggles, so you can squeeze them hard enough and you can have zero wiggles. Wait, Yuri, I don't understand. If there were three wiggles, how can there be zero now? Perhaps you should consult with Riley and convince yourself that zero wiggles and three wiggles are equivalent. You see, it doesn't just fall on you. It requires some inspection and inspiration. Zero can't equal three. That's just like the one math rule that stayed constant my entire life. Here's the thing, you can think of the wiggles as the sausage makers. You put the wiggle in, and you get the sausage out, and you have the sausage has two ends. So I'm the oldest grad student, I'm a 29 year old, first year, and it's a little weird at times, but I like to think it gives me a little bit of extra confidence, you know, I have some life experience, so even though I don't have any published papers yet, I think it's going to be okay. Hey, all my first book on black holes just made bestseller. Guys, it's time to go to Planetary. Like, come on. <laughs> all right. I hope we'll still be earlier than Zach. <laughs> have 
fun, guys. We will. Hi, guys. It's me, Zach. How are you? Let's have a great class today! Planetary Atmospheres is the best! So today, class, we're going to be talking about clouds. I have up here the Golden Guide to Weather on how clouds are formed. Now, before we get started, is there any question on the meeting? Are there any clouds on the sun? That's a really great question. Hmm. You know, you're going to explore it in your projects this week, and I tried to make them extra short this time. This was not short. Yes? Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Sure, yeah. Thank Come you. In. <clears throat> you have a question. Yeah. So we were kind of wondering about Omega and whether or not is necessarily on the symmetry axis. Okay, um, well that's it's in the notes and it's in the homework. Um, as we say in America, uh, just just hold your horses. Or um, you know, another similar phrase is it takes two to tango. Um, that's something that we really like to say in America. I've been speaking English since I was four. I spent four years in the U.S. Yeah, man, I even know these idioms. And uh, as, we, as we used to say in Cambridge, uh, a bird in the bag is worth three on your head. And uh, Okay, that's a new one. What was it? A bird in the bag is... Uh, worth three on the head. Yeah. Uh, that... yeah. So really, I'd say as you're working through this, uh, don't fret too much. Just keep in mind that um, if you keep your chin up, then you can always find your feet. You know, if you, if you were in Cambridge uh, back in those days, maybe you'd, you'd hear the phrase that you just get dunking it right, then uh, it's all time reversal symmetry. Um, 30 years ago, uh, when we were talking about Omega, uh, Feynman used to say uh, he had this pie story. And uh, long story short, um, you got a pie and uh, that's amore. That's what we used to say. Hey, friends! Hi, Hi Will. Will! Are you ready to work on some homework? Yeah! All right, let's go. Twelve seconds later. Guys, we're supposed to have this function, and there's uh, there there's another mistake in his notes. Like again, another mistake. I don't understand this. this. Doesn't make any sense. Look, I'm telling you, all we have to do is the Lambert W function. If we can get it into this form. Yeah, it's simple. It's simple. Like uh, I'm, I'm trying to get everyone to use this. You want to get it? Basically, it's the easiest shit you can imagine. <laughs> Wait, 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 guys, guys, I have an idea. Maybe we should try a binomial expansion. I think we can do it. No, but it's, it's really powerful. What is this? What is this axis even for? I think this is electrons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Which one is ortho? Okay. <laughs> Let's consider. Okay, do we do, do we establish the void value? Wait, guys, where is this actually oh, even known? Why is it even like? Where is it? But are we are we all the way through the cloud or just halfway through the cloud? I'm not. Maybe, but I don't know. It's any higher than this, okay, and we're making okay. sausage. Okay. What page in the notes is this? Two two reservoirs. Like here. Guys, what part are we on? Yeah. So we're gonna talk about our team. All the stuff we need to eat. What? No! Okay. What? All the stuff from the No way! No way. Yeah. What? What the F? Why? It's like this every damn day. <laughs> 